Okay guys, so continue pa rin tayo dito sa uh, soil settlement. So solve tayo ng additional na problem. So a 3 inch uh, tech, uh, 3 inch na thickness ng layer which is under uh, double reinforce uh, double double drainage of a saturated clay under a surcharge loading underwent 90% primary consolidation in 75 days. So find the coefficient of consolidation of clay for a uh, pressure range for the pressure range. So, yung tinatanong niya na daw yung coefficient of consolidation. So, bali, bali ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. Na? So, copy ko lang yan. So, Ito yung gagamitin natin. Solution. Okay. So, since yung degree of uh, degree of saturation natin is uh, consolidation natin is given that is 90%. No? So, 90% no? that is corresponding to degree of saturation. A degree of consolidation. So, therefore, yung gagamitin natin na formula for the degree of saturation, di ba, given yung dito yun. Di ba, ito yun. No? For, for this case, yung TV is 0.848. So, bali yung gagamitin natin na formula is itong root time method. Okay. So, yan yung uh, gusto pa lang ipagamit nung problem. So, bale, yung mangyayari ngayon is ito na yung gagamitin natin. Yan. Okay. So, TV dito is just equal to 0.848. Yan. No? So, balikan lang natin to. So, yung thickness nung clay layer natin is 3 inch. Then, double drainage. So, ibig sabihin, yung HDR is just uh, thickness nung clay. Divided by 2. Diba? For 2-way uh, drainage. So, this is 3 divided by 2. So, we have 1.5 inch. I hope, klaro yan. So, yung TV nung at UZ equals 90 degrees. At 9, okay, 90 degrees is just equal to 0.848. So, therefore, we will use the root time method. Okay. So, yun na, no? So, meron tayong value for time. Ilan yung time? Yung time is given. That is, uh, 75 days. Bali in seconds, that is 
di ba? In one day, we have 24 hours. And then in one hour, we have 60 minutes. And then in one minute, we have 60 seconds. Okay? So, bali yung gusto natin na time is in seconds, hindi naka per day. So, bali yung gusto natin makuha dito na unit is square centimeter per second. So, assuming ganyan. Ay, mali na. Uh, hindi dito inch. This must be meter. No? Uh, na mali yung pagka in- na-copy ko. This is meter. 3 meter tick. No? So, pa-change na lang. Pa-modify na lang. Namali yun na sulat ko. So, ibig sabihin, this is meter kaya pala. Medyo hindi nakakaniwala. No? So, 3 meter. So, substitute natin yung mga values. So, we will have now the value of CV. Okay? So, CV is just equal to 1.5 meter So, multiply na lang natin. Gusto kasi uh, naka-centimeter squared per second yung, yung sagot. Eh. So, gawin na lang natin centimeter din. So, in 1 meter, that is 100 centimeter. So, ito daw lahat is squared lang natin. All over yung time, yung ito. So, meron tayong 75 times 24 times 60 times 60. Ulitin ko lang, uh, yun dito is nakameter yan. No? Medyo na mali lang ako pagkasulat. Then, we have 0.849, uh, 848. So, therefore, we got the value of, uh, compute lang muna natin. So, we have now uh, 1.5 times 100 squared. All over yung time na 75 times 24 times 60 times 60. Then times 0.848. So that value is 0.00294. So this one is 0.00294. So yung unit is square centimeter per second. So, yan, no? Kasi ito yung andun sa choices, eh. No, yung sagot niya kasi is naka centimeter squared per second. So, kaya ginawa ko na lang ding centimeter squared per second. Pero depende yan kung ano yung kung ano yung nasa choices na unit. Okay? O kung ano yung gusto ang ipasolve nung, nung examiner. So, in my case, so, gusto niya is naka square centimeter per second. So, yun yung gagamitin natin. So, ito na yung sagot. Okay? So, I hope uh, may natutunan kayo dito sa problem na to. Okay? So, continue na lang tayo sa next na video. Thank you.